Hello, kings, queens, princes, and princesses. Today we are going to make a crown out of a fancy paper plate. So get ready, because you are going to be royalty today. All right, here we go. So you're going to start out with a paper plate. Um, any kind of paper plate will do. I have, I've done this with a really thick, hefty paper plate. And I've done this with just kind of a flimsy, floppy paper plate, okay? So first thing you're gonna do is you're going to create a design around the center of your circle, okay? So if I measure the my paper plate, it's nine inches. So I'm gonna make a little um, notch at four and a half inches, okay? And then I'm gonna turn it and oops, make another little notch at four and a half inches, okay? And so that's gonna be about my center point, okay? And I wasn't very clear about that, but basically what you're gonna do is make a little line and a point notch at four and a half, and a little line and notch at four and a half, okay? Now it doesn't have to be perfectly centered, okay if it's not, okay? So I'm gonna create a design around the center point of a circle, which is actually called radial design or radial symmetry, okay? And there's lots of different ways to do this. I'm gonna do it by creating different sections, because I've got, I'm gonna be making eight different points for my crown, okay? So I'm gonna have eight sections of color and pattern, okay? So just so this makes sense, okay? That is how I did it. All right, so now you can go back in, and I wanna fill the whole thing with color because I really love color. You don't have to fill the whole thing in with color, but it will make your crown a little bit more visually appealing if it's um, full of color um, versus a lot of the white of the paper showing, okay? So I'm not gonna color the entire thing right now because that would make the video very, very long. But I'm using um, temper paint sticks, which dry really quickly. You could use whatever you have at home, um, Sharpies, um, uh, watercolor, even you could use different types of pens that come in different colors. Okay, so after you've decorated, let's pretend that this is all filled in with color, okay? So the next thing you're gonna do, and this is where you're gonna need help from a parent, is you need to cut the paper plate into a crown. Now I'm gonna use an X-Acto knife to do this, okay? And this will leave marks on your table um, if you're using an X-Acto knife and you don't put something underneath you, okay? So, um, I like to put cardboard underneath me when I do this, and um, I'm just going to really quickly cut it and then show you what the results look like. Now, some of you might want to use a ruler to do this. And again, probably going to have to enlist the help of a parent you don't have an exacto knife at home, you could also use um, like a Swiss Army knife or something. But again, 
transparent, okay? Don't try cutting this on your own people, okay? Now, my fifth graders, we use X-Acto knives sometimes in the classroom, but my younger kids, we do not use X-Acto knives yet. They are very sharp and it's very easy to cut yourself, okay? So basically what I did was I sliced one, two, three, four times to make eight points. And then I went ahead, then you can go ahead and you can push them up. And what I do is I actually just bend them this way. Okay. And got ourselves a little crown here folks okay and then at this point with my other crown I added um, acrylic glitter glaze which I'm in love with and if you want to buy some at home this is the stuff that I buy and I'm not kidding I'm absolutely in love with this stuff and so are most of my kids um, and then what I did was um, I took hot glue and I glued on some buttons to be basically like my jewels, okay? Um, so that's another option too, okay? Happy art making!